Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I want to talk about using a heat mat for seed starting. We'll talk about using it in the house where it's warmer or using it in the basement, cellar, unheated garage where it stays colder. You're going to use them differently in both situations. So I'm in my house. My house temperature stays around, let's just say 68 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 20 degrees Celsius. That is warm enough for all your crops, cool season and warm season to germinate. However, pepper seeds, and here's an example of pepper seeds. Today is February 16th. These have been on a heat mat since February 2nd and they've germinated and they look pretty good. Peppers tend to like more warmth to germinate more quickly. So I do recommend a heat mat for peppers, maybe also for sweet potatoes if you're trying to grow sweet potato slips, but indoors at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, you really don't need a heat mat unless you're targeting peppers, especially hot peppers. They tend to germinate more slowly. Now, generally speaking, you have your seed starts broken into two groups, your cool crops and your warm crops. You really don't want to use a heat mat on the cool crops like lettuce, spinach, cabbage, kale, all the brassica family. Anything that prefers cooler temperatures likes to grow in the spring or in the fall. Warming the root system using this heat mat, the heat mat's right here, we'll talk about that in a second, of your cool weather crops will get them to really grow quickly. And that means, yeah, they're going to sprout, but they're going to get tall and leggy because of the warmth. They're not going to be stocky. They're not going to be strong. You just don't need a heat mat. And the heat actually in the root zone can also speed up flowering or your plants wanting to bolt. And that's can be really seen sometimes in bok choy or pak choy that will even flower in your seed cells if you're leaving them in there too long. But that's for another video. So I don't recommend indoors on cool weather crops using a heat mat. Your heat mat's going to come in a box. I don't recommend a specific brand. I will put some links to good deals that I feel are on Amazon so you can check out those links. And you can see right in there the temperature range for germinating plants. And at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, again that's like 20-21 Celsius, a typical house is going to be around there. And even if it's like 5 degrees less or a little bit lower, 18-19 degrees Celsius, they're still going to germinate. If you have your seed start station in a basement or a cellar that stays at 40-50 degrees, then you're going to want to use a heat mat. So a heat mat looks just like this. It's just a square the pad itself warms. Typically the pad will be just a pad or you can spend additional money and get a thermostat to regulate the temperature on here. I don't do that. So a typical heat pad for your seed starts is going to cost anywhere from $15 to $25 is a fair price. If you buy one or you purchase one with a thermostat or add on a thermostat, that's going to be an extra $10 or $15 or so. I just don't see a need for that unless maybe you are out you know, in an unheated space and you want to get the temperature to a specific temperature. Maybe then I would use a thermostat, but indoors I don't use one. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. Heat mat goes down. I recommend putting a piece of cardboard on the bottom. Some subscribers recommended this to me a while back and it really makes a difference. Cardboard has those little kind of rainbow corrugation in it, airspace, and what it does is it insulates the heat pad from a metal shelf if you're using a metal shelf or even a cold plastic shelf and it just directs the heat into the bottoms of your seed flats better. Set it up just like this and then your flat, this is my newest wave of peppers. These were started on February 12th and it goes on just like that. Today again is February 16th so these should start germinating in another I don't know three to four days because of the heat mat. Now my lights are on a timer they stay on 12, 14, 16 hours. You can find just about anything you'd like to look into on seed starting on my YouTube channel if you want to subscribe. I'll also put in my seed starting series um, in the video description. While the lights go on and off, you want to leave your heating pad, your heat mat on 24 hours, especially when the lights go off because they provide heat. You want the pad to stay on. So don't put the pad or the mat on the same timer that your lights are. These should be on 24 hours. Now, put your plants under the light, your seed flat under the light, start the heating pad right away. You're warming the seed starting mix, the seed, the root zone, and just turn it on and let it go. 
After they germinate, let the plants grow a good seven days after germination to two weeks, and then you can go ahead and take them off the heating pad when you're indoors because you're going to have a perfect temperature of 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius, and your plants will take off. The heating mat indoors, again, I recommend specifically for peppers to speed up germination, maybe sweet potatoes, and any other seed variety, plant variety, that you may feel needs a little bit extra heat. And that's all I do. I also sometimes, if you're sort of on a budget, I've been splitting the heating pad just like that. And that's going to work. That's going to provide heat to both of the flats and it's going to help speed up germination. Heating pad is more valuable and we'll talk about cellars and basements on heated garages next. So the heat mats themselves get to about 105 degrees Fahrenheit, about 40 degrees Celsius. The temperature around the seed basically through the seed starting mix really hangs at about 68 degrees Fahrenheit to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that's 20 to 30 Celsius. That 80, 85 degrees is perfect for speeding up the sprouting of your peppers. Now take this outdoors or to your cellar or to your basement where the temperatures might be 40 or 50 degrees the heat mats are going to help speed up germination for all of your crops. If you're using it on your cool crops outside, use the heat mat. You get those cool crops to germinate, leave it on for about a week, if that, maybe three, four days. Once they're all kind of germinated, just broke the surface, and then you can let them sit in a cooler 40, 50 degree temperature. If you're using if you're growing warm crops out there, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, squash, zucchini, eggplant, then you're going to want to keep the heat mats on really the whole time. And that's when you might want to use a thermostat so that you can kind of bring the temperatures down. Maybe after they've germinated and they've been growing, you want it to stay warm, but you're trying to get these instead of closer to 80 degrees for germination, you want them to continue to be growing. So you use the thermostat to kind of regulate those unheated spaces so that these sit at about 60, 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 20-ish degrees Celsius or maybe 20 degrees Celsius or a little bit less. <laughs> I'm still working on that. So that would be the strategy. So it's up to you. It's up to you how you want to use them. Indoors, you know, where your temperatures are at that, you know, 65 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe you need one or two and you're going to be using them for the plants that are kind of targeted like pepper plants. If you're in an unheated basement, um, cellar, or you're using a garage that doesn't get down to freezing but it stays cold, it may not be practical to have eight heating pads for your mat. So you may want to look for another solution. It might be better for you to get some sort of space heater to kind of bring the temperatures up to 60 degrees. Even if you're getting to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, your peppers are still going to germinate. They may take several weeks longer but it's a strategy. You know, the warmer that you get the temperatures to 80 degrees, the faster everything germinates. But quick germination for cool weather crops and extended heat is not a good idea. Warm weather crops, it's okay. But again, this is how you use a heating mat. Have a plan. And these are the temperature ranges that I think will help you best understand really how to use these in your house or in an unheated area. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and a heat mat will certainly speed up germination for your pepper plants and other crops. Just use it in a targeted way. If you'd like to find out more about seed starting, please check out the series that I have in the video description. And if you need seed starting supplies, please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. Thanks for watching.